understanding the types of heart valves. Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video we're going to understand what the two different types of heart valves are and the four valves that are inside the heart as well as all of their function and location as well. Before we go any further though, there are three mock questions to help test your knowledge based on the information we're going to talk about today. So if you're on our blog, all you've got to do is scroll down. If not, then click the link that is with this video and it will take you to the blog so that you're able to go and test your knowledge following everything we talk about today. So first of all, what are heart valves and why do we need them? Well, essentially, they are little flaps inside our heart and they help prevent backflow. That's what they do. They create a one way system throughout the heart so that the blood keeps flowing in the direction we want it to flow in and it doesn't go back the other way. And that's the whole idea of these heart valves. And based on their location and their role, they create that one way system. Now we've got two different types of heart valves and that's what we're gonna explore here today. One is the atrioventricular valves and the other one is the semilunar valve. Now they look very different and they have slightly different roles, but still prevent backflow. So first of all, the atrioventricular valves, like the name suggests, sit between the atria and the ventricles. So this is basically the atria are the uppermost chambers of the heart, the ventricles are the lower chambers of the heart, and when the ventricles pump blood, what you don't want then to happen from that contraction is for the blood to go the wrong way, back up to the collecting chamber, which is the atria. So that is what the atrioventricular valves do. They prevent backflow from the ventricles back up to the atria, making that one-way system happen. Now, the good thing here is that you've got a left side and a right side of the heart, and you also have a left side of atrioventricular valves, and you have a right-sided atrioventricular valve. They are different though. So on the left hand side, you've got a bicuspid, which looks like two little heart strings right in the center of the left hand side of the heart. And this is preventing backflow of blood from the left ventricle up to the left atria. So these little heart strings also have a different name. And this is the bicuspid has the name of the mitral valve, which you may well come across. On the other side of the heart, so on the right hand side, you've got the tricuspid valve. Now this has got an R in it. So tricuspid has the little letter R just inside the tri part of it. This is a reminder that it's on the right hand side of the heart. Remember, it's not the right hand side as you look at the heart. It's the right hand side of it as if it was your heart. So you wanna remember your left and right side of the heart as well. But that tricuspid valve role is to prevent backflow from the right ventricle up to the right atria. So that's the atrioventricular valves. Let's now have a look at the semilunar valves. Now, instead of looking like kind of upright strings in the center of the heart, these look like half moons, so semilunar. And they are basically a circular shape with like a little crescent inside them. Usually that's how they're depicted on diagrams. And they sit between the ventricles, which we've explored already, the lower chambers of the heart, and the artery, which is the, the blood vessel exiting that ventricle. So we've got two different types because we've got two ventricles. So the first one is the aortic valve. Now the aortic valve is the semilunar valve that will sit between the left ventricle and the aorta. And that is basically preventing black backflow of blood from going from the aorta back in to the, right, the left ventricle. Then on the other side of the heart, we have the pulmonary valve, which is doing the same, but it's this side on the right hand side, and it's preventing backflow from the pulmonary artery, which is taking blood back up to the lungs and also back into the right ventricle. So their blood flow, their role is to prevent the backflow from the arteries back into that ventricle. Now, the idea is that with all of these different valves happening, all four of them, they keep that one way system happening whereby the blood can follow the circulation route properly. If there is any problems with a with somebody's valves or they have valve disease or valve issues, then at this point, there could be a problem whereby they're experiencing issues with the flow of blood around the heart. 
which is a serious complication. So it's part of why we need to know that as our level three anatomy and physiology exam in preparation. Now, remember you have three mock questions to help you test your knowledge on everything I've explored here today. But also if you get stuck on anything else within your level three anatomy and physiology exam preparation, not just the heart, not just the valves, but all eight modules of understanding the anatomy and physiology in preparation for your fitness exam or your level three personal trainer exam, then all you need to do is ch click the link that is alongside this video and explore our Revision Mastery Bootcamp because we've literally structured everything for you to make your learning really straightforward and easy. Alongside that, if you've enjoyed today's video, then please do leave a comment underneath. Let me know what your big takeaway is and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.